Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Counting of the Omer. So this is the introductory video to the Counting of the Omer. So right after Passover, we enter into a, not a countdown, but a count up to Shavuot, also known as Pentecost. Now, most people are more familiar with the word Pentecost than they are with Shavuot. Uh, but Shavuot just means Feast of Weeks, and Pentecost means 50, because there's 50 days between the last uh, day of Passover up to Shavuot, Pentecost. And so during that 50-day period, it's called the Counting of the Omer. And the precedence for this is taken from Leviticus chapter 23, uh, verses 9 through 22. But let me just focus on verses 15 and 16, which says, And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. Even unto the morrow, after the seventh Sabbath, shall ye number fifty days, and ye shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord. So, you know, fifty days, that's, that's quite a span. And uh, I hate to think that those fifty days, counting up to Shavuot, Pentecost, uh, is empty, futile, and meaningless. And even though we're not in Israel, we're not in the land, and we're literally not counting the Omer as far as in an agricultural sense, there is a spiritual uh, a spiritual refinement process that takes place from Passover uh, where we just entered into our exodus. We just entered into our freedom from slavery, uh, from spiritual bondage, from slavery from sin. And we're counting up to Shavuot Pentecost, where it was the giving of the Torah and the giving of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. So between those 50 days, uh, Orthodox Judaism has compiled this uh, formulated uh, um, refinement process based on uh, really getting to know and looking into and studying the various attributes of God. And so each day uh, deals with a different attribute. So there's a theme for the week and a theme for the day, which gives you an overall theme for that day of counting of the Omer. And as we do this, we're going to be re going through some scriptures and going through these themes, and we're going to be working on ourselves in a spiritual uh, refinement so that when we finally reach Pentecost, Shavuot, we'll be ready to receive the Torah. It, it, it'll, it'll not just go into our ears and into our heads, but it will actually be written on our hearts and go to our hearts. And the Ruach HaKodesh, when the Holy Spirit comes uh, and, and was given to us on Shavuot, on Pentecost, it just won't be, oh, goosebumps, glory bumps going on. Um, it just won't be an intellectual uh, understanding, but it, they'll just actually be a kind of a plugging in to the source, a plugging into the light socket. And, and the Ruach HaKodesh will be able to move and work through us in such a greater way as we go go through this uh, time of spiritual refinement, focusing on the attributes of God and the scriptures and on how these things apply to us. So I hope you'll join me each day for the counting of the Omer, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy this uh, journey of, spir of uh, spiritual refinement from the last day of Passover, counting up all the way to Shavuot Pentecost. Thanks for watching. Shalom. Shavuot Tov.